Hi friends, this is Cole Chance, and I'm here with my puppy Shanti. She wanted to join and uh, have her 15 minutes of fame today, so I finally told her that she could come on. So she's ready for her close-up. Say hi, Shanti. She's my pride and joy. Anyway, for you all, I have a neck and shoulder video. We'll just keep it short and simple. If you just kind of wake up with a crick in your neck or you just need to take a little break and kind of work on what's happening to go on with the rest of your day. So we'll keep this kind of sweet and short, but I'll show you some of my um, neck, my potent neck stretches, and hopefully that this will help you out and give you a little more space, yeah? So to start, go ahead and close your eyes. Tuck the chin. Just feel it opening up in the back of the neck. You can start to shake your head no. And shake your head yes, just kind of getting an opening a little bit. And now taking the ear over towards the right to start to make some circles and then back. So moving really slow, you know, I'm feeling lots of little creaks and cracks, so you may be as well. And just moving really slow and mindfully. Notice where the tension is. If it's more in the back of the neck, the left side, the right side. I'm starting to become aware. I can really feel it the back left of my neck. So start to get specific about where things are coming from. Now keep the ear over towards the right side. I've shown this in a couple videos. This is my favorite neck stretch. So the ear will go over to the right. This tends to slump people kind of automatically, so be sure to open up the chest. Let the traps fall down the back. Take the left hand. Flex the hand, push the heel of the hand away, holy, and start to open here. So find a spot and breathe. Tendency is to hold the breath, and holding the breath actually starts to create more tension. So breathe deep. The more that you, you can move the arm around a little bit, start to feel how that changes the sensation and even move the head down and up. So there's a lot of little variables that you can get into. So just this stretch alone, man, this is like a miracle worker for me. I'm gonna try looking up, but just really bringing awareness, paying a lot of attention to like, oh, right there. If I to go a little to the left, then oh, right there. There's. A lot you can start to find, and you start to notice more when you're building that relationship with your body, that mind-body connection. A lot of times we just say, my neck hurts. Well, it's like, well, where? And a lot of times we can't answer that question precisely. So when you find that spot, stay right there. Breathe deep. This deep breathing tells the nervous system to relax. So this is, the breathing is just as important as the stretch. This is what's allowing the stretch to really resonate. A couple more rounds. Slowly start to bring the neck back up. We'll take the left hand, place it on the right knee, and just gently twist over, gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, lift tall, find length, exhale, twist. And one more time as if I was pulling up on your ears. And twist. Good. Come back center. Let's take the left hand up towards the sky, drop the palm towards the back. You can take the elbow and push the head back into the arm. So let's start open up kind of underneath the shoulder here. 
If it's available to you, you can also take this hand behind the back. Wherever you are, pressing the head back into the shoulder, opening up. One more big round of breath. Release the arms. Now this time, left arm goes over, right arm pulls in, outside of the shoulder. And release and shake it out. And let's go to the other side. So bringing the forehead or the chin, bring the chin down again. Shaking yes, shaking no. This time rocking the ear over to the left side. And then back. Let's take about three big circles starting to map out what's going on. Next time around, leave the ear towards the shoulder. And like I just noticed, my shoulders kind of rolled in. It's something that we do to protect, um, something that we do when there's a little bit of tension. So I have tension in my neck, so I automatically want to go like this which creates more tension. So open up, breathe. Start to bring the heel of the hand out towards the right. Let the ears relax down away. The shoulders relax down away from the ears. And start to explore. Again, remembering you can move the head. Also move the arm. Deepen your breath. I need constant reminders. So maybe it's helpful to you as well. Inhale deeper. One more big drink of air in. And release. Start to come up, bring that right hand over to the left knee. Inhale, length, telescope the spine. And then exhale, twist towards the left. So twice with breath, inhale, find length. Exhale, twist. And again. Coming around to center, right arm. Up towards the sky, drop the hand back. Left arm to elbow, head back into the arm, or the left hand can go behind the back. Whichever. Pick your poison, or pick your medicine. <laughs> Breathing deep. Release the arm, bring it across the body, out, getting into the outside of the shoulder. And then inhale, you can release just a little bit and then exhale, pull in. So we're using the breath. Good, and release. And we'll take eagle arms here. So let's start with a big T. Let's gaze up, open, open, open. Exhale, round, 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 drop the chin. Inhale, open. And then exhale, let's bring the right hand, the right arm over the left arm, we'll cross at the elbows, backs of the hands together, or fronts of the palms together. Elbows are in line with the shoulders, 
press the shoulders or press the elbows out towards me. Inhale, fingertips high. Exhale, round everything in. Get into the, the traps. Mm, let's just stay here for a moment. That feels nice. The muscles on the sides of the spine can just slowly open and release here. And now let's move with breath. Inhale, lengthen fingertips up, arch the back. And exhale, bring it all in. Elbows to belly, belly to spine. Once more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Open up tall. Hands to heart center. Good. Inhale, open wide. Fingertip touch in front. Inhale, open. And this time, let's bring the left hand, the left arm over. Cross at the elbow so the opposite way, whichever side you didn't do last time. Elbows in line with the shoulders as we lift up. Exhale, bring it all in. Compact. Inhale, lengthen. And bring it in. Once more. Good, open the arms up. And hands to heart center. Let's bring the hands to the knees and kind of wiggle the torso shake. The shoulders, maybe roll them back here, finding a little movement. Hmm. A couple more articulations. Let's. Pull on the knees, bring the chest forward, gaze up, feel a stretch in the back. And then exhale, round forward. Twice more, inhale. Pull at the knees. Exhale, round. And again. And come to center, come to stillness. You just kind of feel, feel around. Notice space that you've created. And this is just a really beneficial, short little practice that can really, really get into those spaces of tightness and tension. So it's really good to have just a couple go-to poses so I hope, that, uh, I hope that all of them worked. But um, even if you just found one of them, just kind of pull, put that in your toolbox. So whenever you're having an issue, you can fix it. Thank you all so much. And uh, Shanti thanks you too. And I will, we will see you next time. Check out more about me at coldchanceyoga.com and we have all types of goodies at yogatx.org. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Exhale. And then inhale, we'll start to sit back and lift the arms. So chair pose. Inhale, spread the collarbones and exhale, sit a little bit deeper. So I have the knees separate here. You can have the knee, you can have the feet together if you'd like. The knees are